Hello, uh, what we're going to look at today is the uh, Roland GR55 uh, synthesizer, uh, in particular the GK3 pickup system. And, and what we'll talk about here briefly is a typical installation of this GK3 pickup and how you can calibrate it. Uh, basically, uh, I, I think a, a big worry that I had at least was you know how much if any damage would would this cause and what what kind of permanent installation would be required and after I got the unit and installed this uh, it, it it was uh, it was actually really simple to install and uh, basically uh, with no permanent fixtures anywhere so uh, just to kind of give you an idea here what, what we've got it mounted to is an Ibanez RT uh, I believe it's an RT 450 uh, from 1992, sort of a strat like guitar. So basically, um, you could you can compare this with with a strat, sort of the same vintage style bridge. Got a humbucker in, in the uh, in the bridge position. So uh, just kind of give you an idea of the room that we're talking about. And uh, as far as the the actual unit itself, I'm going to flip the guitar over here, and what you'll see is let me get it in some good light here. Uh, you have a a bracket that mounts also to the back side of the guitar, and on the inside of that bracket, I don't know if this is picking it up, but there is a a thin, probably about an eighth inch layer of uh, nice soft foam, and that is really the only thing that's making contact with the body of the guitar. You can see it here on the front surface as well. It's it's foam padded, uh, guaranteed not to damage anything. And as far as how it how it fixes it uh, how you fix it to the body, uh, right here at the uh, strap pin, you would back the screw out there, remove the strap pin, place this bracket over the strap pin hole, and you can see there is a kind of a sliding groove there. So depending on the location of the strap pin, uh, it's sort of a uni it's a universal fit, and then you tighten tighten the strap pin uh, back down with the screw that's already on your guitar and uh, that's all it is so you can see it's very sturdy not gonna move around on you uh, it does have this uh, small cord that comes out of the GK3 and goes straight into uh, the pickup unit now they did supply a bracket sort of a sort of a loop with a screw hole if you wanted to hold that down and I've, I've actually had this mounted uh, for about a year and have not had any issues or seen any reason to, you know, needing to hold that down. I think even under, you know, live playing conditions, this is, this is pretty, pretty stable right here. And of course your hand kind of rests up here anyway. So, I mean, unless your sleeve is catching that, I wouldn't recommend, you know, drilling any holes in the body of the guitar anyway. But if you had to, they do provide you with that option. Now, as far as the, the actual pickup itself, um, th this is not a stock pit guard. This is an aftermarket pit guard. But even still, I did not want to have to drill into this. Um, so what, what they did was supplied a piece of double-sided foam tape to attach the, the pickup here. So that's all that's holding this on. I mean, you can see there are there, there's a screw hole right there if you wanted to use it. And another one on this side and I chose not to do that and and even with the double-sided tape again I mean I'm wiggling that pretty good yeah it moves a little bit but it's doing what it's supposed to which is you know going right back into place and again it's been on there for a year have not had any problems so for me it's it's a great solution um, there's no permanent mounting or drilling of any kind that's required uh, to get that pickup system on your guitar uh, Roland did supply us with, you know, this entire bag here of what looks to be like, you know, shims of all sorts. Um, there's all kinds of of uh, shimming pieces here, more pieces of foam tape, screws. Uh, I believe this is a bracket if you're going to mount this permanently. Uh, around your tremolo, none of which I needed. I uh, just felt like, um, you know, when I first mounted it, I was a little skeptical anyway and didn't know, you know, how long I would keep it on this guitar. And 
so far have not had to go to any of this hardware um, to keep enjoying the, the Roland GR55. So just kind of a note about that. You will get all that you need, but basically all that, you, all that you really need is just the foam tape there and your strap pin screw here will hold everything else into place. Now, um, the, the other important thing to note about setting up the GR55 with your GK3 is to calibrate the pickup and since there's you know other guitars on the market that uh, use a built-in 13 pin system which is what the, the Roland system uh, is based on Let me get that out here you can see the that's the 13 pin tip that it will will send the signal um, there are guitars that have this built in uh, particularly Godin and uh, I think the Roland Ready Strat is another one, plus uh, I think another one called, uh, made by Brian Moore. So there's some options out there, but just utilizing the uh, GK3, you're going to use a quarter inch jack output from your guitar. And what I did was purchased a, a, a monster cable, a short monster cable, basically like a jumper that you would run in between pedals into the GK3 input instead of using the uh, the supplied cable which is you know a little bit on the cheaper end but would still do the trick now once you um, once you get everything set up there uh, the other the other uh, thing to do is to calibrate your your rolling pedal to know where the position is from your saddles and I, I think what this accomplishes is it 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 helps improve the tracking and the performance of the triggers or, or, or the sounds that the synth is going to make. So uh, it's pretty simple to do. You just have to dig around here a little bit. I'll show you a couple quick steps uh, to get in there and explain uh, how we can do this. So I, I've just got the unit powered on and from there we will hit the edit button and you will be in this screen. Now, if, if you're on a patch, let's see if I can get a better view here. If, if you're on a, uh, just on a patch, you might see this screen when you come in, and, and that's fine. Uh, what you're trying to do is get over here to this system tab. And in order to do that, you will hit the page arrow button, and you will see the tab move over. Okay, now we're on effect. Now we're on master, and click it again and now we're, we're highlighting on the system tab and from the system tab this far left icon that says GK setting uh, all you need to do is hit the enter button and it'll take you into the the string calibration uh, this first tab should be the one that that pops up here and you can see mine is, is GK set 01 so you can have multiple sets and on the on this first tab which is the pickup tab a uh, couple of options you'll need to make sure you have highlighted correctly is the pickup type uh, the first line there is uh, the GK3 I'm trying to focus in on that a little bit uh, so just by arrowing down with with the arrows around the wheel you're not using the wheel itself but the left right top bottom arrows you would just arrow down until you get to the GK3 choice there uh, scale, that would be, uh, I believe, standard scale or strat scale. I'm not sure what the ST, uh, exactly, you know, what they intended for it to mean, but um, I think according to the owner's manual, that's if you have the strat scale 25 and a half inch neck. And then, of course, you can change your, your pickup phase, your direction, uh, and then the S1, S2 position, which uh, for this unit is this button right here, S1, S2. So really, I, I left all of this stock in here and then uh, now we need to measure our distance so we're going to uh, tab over with the page button and you'll see the tab move okay so now we are in the distance uh, menu and you'll see all six strings listed with a um, uh, with a distance in millimeters okay and what these numbers reference is the distance of between your saddle, the edge of your saddle, and the center of the GK3 
uh, pickup. And there's six individual pickups, just like there's six individual saddles. So for me, it was just easy to get get a hold of a uh, six inch uh, machinist steel rule here. Uh, you can get them at almost any hardware store, tool store, whatever. Uh, you've got your inches on the bottom, millimeters on top. And I basically just took the edge of that scale like so, took a measurement in millimeters to the center of the pickup on the GK3. And that was the distance that I entered for each one of these. So when you go to the first string, it's 19. And then if you need to make an adjustment, then you would just sort, you know, roll the, the wheel around and you can see it's going up. So we'll put it back where it was to 19. And then second string was at 21, third string at 23, uh, fourth string at 22, fifth string at 23, and then sixth string at 23 and a half. So those are all millimeter measurements. Obviously, they're going to all be different because your saddles are all uh, different lengths away based on your, your intonation adjustments there. So that right there will give you the, the optimal performance out of the GK3 and um, should give you some good playing. So hope you enjoyed these uh, tips on setting up the Roland GR55 and some questions that you may have had about uh, the installation of the GK3 pickup. Thanks for watching.